better. And Cheney comes up to me and says, hey, coach, why don't you start a girls team? And I'm like, uh, I don't know if you have any teenage girls, but they're not teenage boys. I have uh, I have three teenage boys, well, they were, were teenage boys, now they're older. Um, and it was, an ex it, was, it was easy. And then all of a sudden now I have two teenage, or one teenage girl and she wasn't very easy. And now I have 13 teenage girls and that's not easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> so not only are you fighting, trying to teach them how to teach moves, but learn moves, but you're dealing with um, emotions and all the rest of that stuff. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so before we continue, we have some codes, but we're not going to talk about our codes, right girls? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Hey, before I say any other word or talk about anything or anybody, I want to say that uh, there's more to team than just wrestlers. There really is. And and I couldn't have done it without the help of the parents. So I think the girls and, and, and boys alike should give a big round of applause for your parents for helping you out. <laughs> Without your, without your parents, you guys wouldn't be here, or I'm sorry, guys, I mean girls and guys, you wouldn't be here, and they wouldn't, you know, all the times, and I know I'm difficult, but I am. I, I have practice on the fly, he's got to deal with me. But anyway, okay, so let's get to what I'm trying to, what I'm up here for. I'm up here to say that um, we started this journey, and she, she, it was tough. We started it last, last year, and, and this person really came around and really changed dramatically, and I'm so proud of her. And I'm so proud of her for a couple reasons. One, I'm proud of her because she's a great wrestler. Oh, absolutely great. Incredible. But she's a great person. That's what's important to me. I'm not, I'm not as a result of it right now. I'm more, I'm more about a great person than I am about a great wrestler. And she's, she's already a great wrestler and a great person. And she takes the tough classes in school. And her grade point average is a, is a 4.2. Uh, we're not talking about a 3.3. We're talking about a 4.2. That, that, that's, that's outstanding. That needs to be recognized, so I wanted to mention that. But okay, so now I have to talk about what she's accomplished. Um, she started off at, she took first at the Carter tournament. When she took first, she beat two state, uh, returning state qualifiers and won Carter. Nobody even knew who she was. People are walking up to us saying, who is she? Did she come from some other state? Because they had no idea who she was. She wasn't on the internet. She wasn't, nobody had any idea who she was. Um, she took second at Carson Marcy tournament because she moved up a weight class because she was being lazy and she loves to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we get to the that's 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 another subject. So, but she did now. Now the incredible stuff starts to happen. Um, she decides that uh, she's going to work de de devote herself to working hard. She does, and she, we go to state or not state, but we go to uh, CIF qualifying. Say see how qualifying we're going along just tearing everybody up. Who do we get? We get a returning state finalist. The, the girl ranked number one in the state. And we get her. Because nobody scored a point on this girl. Nobody's done anything to this girl. And what happens? We have her, we're beating her four to one in all the way in the third period, less than a minute to go. Well, she's a day this returning state finalist is a true champion. Came back and ended up beating her. But that's okay. So then we go the next following week, or two weeks later, whichever it was. We go to CIF. Now that's like the boys' masters, same thing. So we get this, the girls' CIF, and we're tearing everybody up again, surprising everybody. And uh, who do we get? We get the returning state finals again. <laughs> this time, we lose to her 0 1. And the girl was scared. I can tell. The girl was scared. The coaches were scared. Everyone, and who's this girl who's competing with a state finalist? Girls ranked fifth in the nation. The girls, you know, ranked number one in the state, and we, we almost got we almost got her. It was close, real close. So then we get the big one. So now we go to state. Well, if she wasn't recognized, nobody knew who she, nobody knew who she was. We get the state, and she's, now she's ranked. She's ranked, you know, fourth in the state of California. Which, which, well, that's, that's not true. I'm sorry. There is no rank in that state. It's a it's a formula. There's, they only rank number one and number two, and she wasn't one or two. So we got the number two. Um, first round, second round, and we, we put it to her. So anyway, it, was, it was incredible. It was an incredible journey. Um, we're not finished, she, she's, she's only a sophomore. That's what's impressive about this. All I'm talking about, I'm talking about sophomore. When we were at state, we're beating and 
and moving up to the next level each time, we're beating seniors. So it was something incredible. So I'm not exactly sure how this all works. It's going to be a long thing, but I'm going to start off with, so we get the state. She did she, I got to say one last thing. I'm sorry. I'm jumping around. Let me say this. So I've been, I've been to many state tournaments. I have three boys. I have three boys. I've got a California state eight times, seven times. I know how tough it is. And I, so when he asked me, okay, hey, how a girls team? And well, Sasha goes, oh, I get the name away, but she goes, hey, I want to go to state. I'm like, girls state? Ah, oh, it's going to be nothing. No big deal. Because I know boy state stuff. I know how tough boy state is. So girls state, no, whatever. Then I get the girls state. And I realize, wow. Everybody, hold on. Because girl girls wrestling is coming on strong. You're going to be amazed. We're going to have a big, we're going to have a full team next year. We're going to need something to deal with. We have a plan. Like I said, have a plan. Our plan to fail. We have a plan. We're taking five girls to state next year. It's going to be something nice. Because we got some real promising girls that are really going to go well. So, we're at state, and an incredible, incredible accomplishment of the whole state of California. There's not, there's only two states in the whole, in all of America that have one state champion. That's New York and California. That's it. And as big as California is, we have somebody in all of California who took third in the state, and that's Sasha Medvedevich. <laughs> So she's got a state certificate, she's got a scholar certificate, she's got a CIF certificate, she's got a great coach. <laughs> I'm sorry, that slipped. I don't know why that slipped. Okay, so because she went to state, and because she uh, accomplished something that's never been accomplished in Maricosa's history, she took third in the state of California. I've already said it, but I'll say it a hundred times more if you want me to. She, was, she gets this plaque with a really nice picture. So again, this 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 individual put the L in leg riding. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So I'm gonna close. The last thing I'm gonna close with is um, again, thanks to the parents, it means a lot to me. Um, the girls wouldn't be there. Some a lot of the guys that I coach also wouldn't be there also if it wasn't for your time and your effort. And I really appreciate it. So I think everybody should really appreciate your parents tonight. And give one last round of applause for the parents, please. Woo!